Okay, so I'm going to move this 3,000 over here. Omega, so this root is 3,000. And so S1 is going to be negative alpha plus, plus 3,000, which is negative 2,000. Okay? S2 will be negative alpha, negative, which is negative 5,000, minus 3,000. And that's going to be negative 8,000. So that, let's replace that here. Negative 2,000 T, and this will be negative 8,000 T. Okay. We just did all the easy stuff parts. The hard parts will be the coefficients. So how do we find the coefficients? Well, first we need our coefficient equations. Uh, coefficient equations for the... Um, Overdamp system is V of zero is equal to initial voltage across the parallel RLC circuit is equal to V final, which we know is zero, plus A1, A1 prime plus A2 prime. Okay, what is V zero not? Before the switch before the switch flips, it's at A, and it looks like this, plus minus seven and a half volts, one kilo ohm, four kilo ohm. These are connected in, par in, yeah, in parallel with a capacitor that is four nanofarads. So, the capacitor is getting a charge from the 7.5 volts. It's charged up to, um, but it's not getting a full charge because some of that is dissipated by the one kilo ohm. So, to find out what this is, this is simply a voltage division problem. So, what we do is we do just uh, find VC initial. We take the voltage that's being divided, 7.5 volts. Multiply it by the ratio. So VC initial is 0 minus is equal to 7.5 volts times 4K divided by 1K plus 5K. Oops, plus 4K. Put that into your calculator and you should arrive at the capacitor has a charge of 6 volts right before the switch flips over. And that's going to be our V0. Okay. So now we have the first equation out of two equations that we need in order to solve. Um, this is number one. Initial, initial capacitor or initial voltage is 6 volts. V final is 0. It's not connected to anything. So over time, everything will dissipate. So we're left with 6 volts. A1 plus A2 is equal to 6 volts. Okay, that's equation number one. Finding the second equation is harder. We need to use, the second equation is dB0 plus dT is equal to A1 prime S1 plus A2 prime S2. I'm going to put the second equation over there so I can work here. So we know what S1 and S2 are. We need to find this, dv0, dt. So equation number two is really S1, which is, uh, which one was the S1? S1 was the negative 2,000, so negative 2,000 A1 prime. Plus, minus 8,000 um, A2 prime, and that's going to equal dvdt, which we have to find. So, what is dvdt? Well, recall that dvdt is, well, the capacitor current. 
Remember that the capacitor current across the capacitor is equal to C, the capacitance, times the derivative of the voltage. So therefore, dV dt, which we need for our equation, is going to be the current across the capacitor divided by the capacitance. We know the capacitance, what we need to find out is what is I sub So what is that I sub C? To find that, we're going to do KCL at the top node. So we have got I, I sub C, and we have I sub L, and I sub R. Well, the conductor has no initial stored energy, so therefore, well, let's, let's start with KCL. If KCL that node says that I sub C is going to equal I is, uh, sorry about this, guys. KCL says I C plus I L plus I R is equal to zero. Therefore, I sub C is equal to negative I sub L minus I minus I sub R. Well, the inductor has no initial stored energy, and when the switch flips, inductors can't change current instantaneously. Therefore, that is zero. The only thing we need to find out is what is the resistor, the, uh, the current across the resistor right after the switch flips. Well, current across the resistor, I sub R, we use Ohm's law, V over R. That gives us 6 volts divided by 25 kilo ohms, which is 0 0.1. What is it? When you divide that, you should get 0 0.0.24 0 milliamps. So I sub C is negative I sub R, therefore I sub C is equal to negative 0 0.24 milliamps. Okay, good. So now we have that, plug it into that formula. We know this. Just saw that. This is negative 0 0.24 milliamps. We also know this, right? Divided by 4 nanofarads. Put that into your calculator and you should arrive at, oh, negative, should arrive at negative 60,000 volts per second. Okay, so now we have both equations. Equation number one and equation number two. So equation number two is going to be negative. Here's number two. Negative two thousand eighty one minus eight thousand a two prime. I should put is going to be equal to negative 60,000 negative 60,000 volts per second. Solve these equations simultaneously and I'm assuming that the viewer has a calculator that can do that or the viewer has the skills to do that, um, the math skills. Uh, you can do it a couple of ways. You can multiply the top by 2,000 and add the two equations. You can solve for A1 and plug it into here. Um, lots of ways to solve this, but at the end, you should arrive at the answer that A1 is negative 2 and A2 is 8. If you guys don't have the math skills, you can let me know. I'll work it out, but 
if you're in electrical engineering, you should really have that level of math. So now we have everything. We have this A1 prime, that is negative 2. We have A2 prime, which is positive 8. False. And that is the answer to the problem. Let's put it in nicely though. B, L, or T. Put the positive first. It's equal to 8. T to the negative 8,000. T minus 2E to the negative 2,000 T volts. And that is the answer for problem number 21. Hope you found it um, helpful. If you do, make sure you subscribe to my channel because subscribers get to make requests for what problems they want to see. Thanks.